1953, a boy by the name of Stephen Christmas, yes, Christmas like the holiday, became the first person ever to be diagnosed with hemophilia B, known at first simply as Christmas disease. So aside from an awesome nickname, what makes this different from hemophilia A? In hemophilia A, the factor VIII protein is missing or deficient. In hemophilia B, factor VIII's working just fine. It's factor IX that's not. And while 30% of hemophilia A patients develop inhibitors, the risk for hemophilia B patients is much smaller, only 3 to 5%. Unfortunately, that 3 to 5% is at risk for much more serious complications. The factor IX gene is considerably smaller than factor VIII and much more simple in construction. For this reason, factor IX replacement products tend to have longer half-lives than factor VIII replacement therapies from the same product class.